this is Dabu 7 and as you can see here going all the way up through the fourth into the fifth although the images get grainy you can see Comet Ison is still on track um, and fanning out and getting much larger this is worst case situation we could have ever expect it. Comet Ison in intact form never presented Earth a threat. Never. Uh, maybe the sun and potential CMEs and solar flares and an impact on the sun. Uh, and what we were really looking for was a great show. Well, we're not going to get that um, in terms of seeing a huge comet with a huge tail in the sky. This thing is fanning out at a phenomenal rate here. And it, as the CMEs continue to pound it and hit it, it's only going to make it worse depending on how they hit it. This is completely unpredictable. I don't care what astro shill out there wants to tell you on any level. Anyone that, that thinks they have expertise saying that, that uh, they know what's going on here. No one can calculate or predict the rate of what this object is going to do because it's no longer one solid body. It has fanned out literally millions of miles with, keep in mind, a completely different debris trail coming in behind it. November 17th, no November 19th, it was clipped and the whole coma was stripped back. The whole tail ripped off of Comet Ison before it made its way in there. That's when we had a real good shot at its nucleus. And at that point, that same cloud stayed right on track, and it's still coming in behind Comet Ison. Not a word of it from NASA. Now, looking at the speed at which it's traveling here, it is slowing down, which is expected. But it is getting closer to Earth. It was projected to come over Earth. Like I said before, it caused no threat to Earth in an intact form. Right now, it is broken into this huge debris field, which is the worst case scenario, period. Uh, and it had a disconnection event of its tail and its coma, which is separate in following millions of miles behind it. Now, this is a disconnection event of Comet Lovejoy, one, a comet of which no one seemed to really be speaking of because it was overshadowed by Comet Ison. Well, if you go outside with a Canon camera or with your unaided eye and you look up into the sky due east before sunrise tomorrow morning, this is what you're going to see. An amazing comet. Lovejoy. There's one there. Go look and you'll get it. Five degree tail with the unaided eye. Ten with the Canon uh, camera. And if you want to get the tel telescope out and get up on this thing... It's going to be quite a sight. Um, beautiful comet, as everyone has been distracted by Ison. And this is where you'll find it. Looking east before sunrise, December 7th. This is the chart. You can see Saturn coming up in Libra. This is where Ison should be. Linear and Lovejoy right here between Boots and Hercules. So I'll leave links as always so you guys can check that out. But, you know, this this is the startling information. The I'm going to... Thank BP for all the work he does and information he puts out. These new images he breaks down, draws the colors out, and uh, shows you what's really going on here. You can still see the V-shaped pattern inside of Ison, And as he estimates, roughly 20, 20 million miles each direction coming off of this, putting it at roughly 40 million miles. Now, the problem with that is, is that it's only supposed to come 41 million miles above Earth. If this thing is fanned out to 40 million miles and it's estimated to be 20 million miles in one direction, that means that the edge of this thing could potentially come only 20 million miles from Earth. And I'm telling you now, as it grows and gets larger, we're more than likely going to see something from this. You'd be naive to think not. It's common ice and continues to span out and fan out here. Um... The potential and the risk is, is very great because it doesn't take an enormous object to cause devastation. Um, quarter of a mile um, rock could cause huge devastation. Uh, look at the one that came over Shelabinks in Russia. It uh, wasn't that large, but the sonic boom and the impact of it just coming into the atmosphere shows you uh, the damage these things can do. Now, if you have a huge object that just burst into a billion pieces, and yes, 
Some of those pieces are dropping, fanning out. CMEs can only fan them out further. It can only make it worse. This thing is spreading apart by the minute. And that is my greatest concern here. I'm also going to leave a link so you guys can go over and watch BP's video so we can explain to you some of these pictures. Um, these squares are just the way that he brought the light out. It's not that there's squares there because he had to zoom in so much. But you can see that there, this mass and a, there's a darker object further back following Ison um, that is just part of this debris. There's so many pieces here. It is going to be impossible for them to track. They didn't see that other one coming in, did they? Because it was coming from the direction of the sun, the one over Russia, right? Toward Earth. Well, what do you got here? Coming from the direction of the sun toward Earth is this huge debris cloud. So when it starts raining down, what do you expect them to say? Oh, we didn't see it coming. Whatever. Sick of the NASA lies. The truth is found in the guys down here doing the footwork and the research for real. Um, and... Much props to BP for what he does out there and many other guys out there that it put a lot of work into this. I'll leave links as always, guys, but eyes to the skies and keep your eyes open for my next video. It is going to be on December 16th. It's going to be on the Golden and Silver Gates, and you're going to be amazed at what has been found. It just, it's amazing. Of all days, once again, December 16th is the day that this falls on, and what happens on this day is the icing on the cake. Uh, it's a lot of information, and I'll be putting it out in my next video concerning Comet Ison in these gates. Till next time, this has been Dabu7. Stay safe. Be smart. Eyes to the skies, guys. Peace.